Hey, what's going on guys? Quickscope here, and I'm going to do a review on my new gun I just got. Uh, this is a review of the G&G CM16 SR XL. Uh, there's two other versions, the SRL and the SR... Uh, I think it's just called the SR... The SR series, we'll just call it. This is the SR XL with the 12 inch uh, key mod rail. The SRL is a 10 inch and then the one below that is a CQB 7 inch rail. Um, this is a $275 gun because of the red accents and some other internal upgrades which I will get into shortly. Uh, there's two versions. This one is the one with the red accents which is a little bit more expensive and the uh, one with this just flat black which is uh, around the 240 mark. This one was 275 on uh, Airsoft GI, and it got here within six days. So yeah, we're gonna get into it. We're gonna start from the front. Uh, this is my K-Tech amplifier that I threw on here. It came with this orange flash hider, which is uh, available to use QD suppressors, I think that's what they're called. Uh, you can just twist it on and it's there. It took me a while to get this off because it is glued on and there's also a pin that you have to remove. So it took me a little while, but anyway, I did put my K-Tech amplifier on there in silver, so it makes it look pretty nice. There are 14 millimeter counterclockwise threads, and yeah, the it is a free, uh, free, th free, th free float RIS. Uh, it has key mod for specific G mod, G and G key mod rails that you can buy separately. Uh, it does not come with any rails. The front iron sight is full metal. You just flip it up and then flip it down when you don't want to use it. Uh, the whole key mod rail is full metal, and it's pretty cool because it's flushed with the upper receiver. Um, the upper receiver is like a really high dense polymer. It's very nice, very comfortable. You do have this ergonomic pistol grip right here that's got grooves for your fingers and then you also have on the receiver you have ambidextrous ambidextrous mag release so you got this one here and then you have this one right here there uh, so yeah there's that and you also have a I believe it was around the 300, 300 round uh, high cap. It's plastic and it also has like this rubber rubber part right here that it's got like grooves for your fingers. It's pretty nice. Um, the trigger guard is metal. The trigger is metal. It has an ambidextrous uh, bolt catch. Pretty nice. Looks pretty cool. There's like a Batman symbol type thing on the top. It's pretty nice. Uh, the rear flip-up sight is plastic. You can just remove those both with the screwdriver. If you don't want them at all, you can just take them out. This sight did not come with it. This is my own sight. It's a Dagger Defense ACOG replica. Um, so yeah, and then you also have a six-position stock, which is kind of like a Magpul-style stock, but it's like G&G's version. So you just pull that, and you can pull it back, and then you lock it with that right there. And also one thing I really love about this gun is the way you get into the battery compartment. There's a little button you push on the top right here, on the top of the stock. Push it in, and then the battery compartment just does that. It's awesome, so you don't have so you don't have any parts you're gonna lose. Right now I have a 9.6 nunchuck. Shoot, 9.6 nunchuck in here that I did buy on Amazon with a smart charger. All right, it is a pretty tight fit for the battery. Uh, and it is, this gun is LiPo ready. And we will also get into the internals. This, this gun comes internally with a version two gearbox, full metal, and an electronic trigger system. So you can get the trigger response a lot better. Uh, very nice short trigger pull and also comes with a MOSFET, so you're able to program your gun to do three round bursts, which I really love about this gun, and is why I bought it too, because if you want a gun that has a MOSFET and an electronic trigger, 
built into its stock, you're going to have to pay a lot of money for that. So I only got this for around 200 So we're going to do some firing tests just to show you guys how the gun sounds. Here's on semi-auto, and I'll show you the trigger response as well. The battery is a little bit half charged, but you can pretty much, you can work it. It's obviously LiPo ready, so if you have a LiPo, you can shoot faster. Um, here's full auto. Pretty nice. And then to program it to uh, three round burst, you put it on semi. Hold the trigger for 10 seconds. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, release the trigger, go to full auto, and then it should work. It's pretty sick. I love this gun a lot. I went out and shot it a bit, and it's pretty accurate out of the box. The hop-up is a little bit stiff, so you're going to have to use like a, something, like a, I used a pencil eraser for it, and it worked pretty well, but yeah, other than that, uh, the gun's amazing. I definitely recommend it. I got the last one, the last red version, uh, that was in stock and at Airsoft GI, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, yeah. Uh, so definitely go ahead and pick up this gun. Also, one thing before I end the video, you push this button right here on the stock, and this flips open. Where you can put uh, CR one through three batteries in there, double A's, whatever you want. They can actually fit in there. It's pretty nice. It's got one left rear sling point for a uh, one of those removable sling po points. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Definitely go pick up one of these guns, either in red, as you can find one in red, or in black. And uh, yeah, leave a like on the video and comment.